in this map. There's one other way as well. Now, because we were zapped when we were underwater, the glitch is we are swimming in midair. How cool is that? Now, the awesome thing with this is, if you don't go in the water because you'll end up swimming, but you can literally just sort of come over here and see the rest of the the place. It's a bit weird, isn't it? That's awesome, isn't it? Don't you think? This is the whole of Summer Forest. And you can actually get the crush early by going down here. And if you do that, we're going to do a boss early. I thought that would be something quite interesting to show you guys. I honestly don't know what effect this is going to have on the Let's Play, but we'll do that in a bit. We're going to actually beat Crush after doing one level in the game. I've never done this before. I've done, obviously I've beaten Crush, but I didn't intend to do this. Boom! Hello, blue bitch. Let's go. It's very weird because he sends out this shock wave. You've got to jump and miss them. Woo! Oh my god, 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 oh that's what happens, you get the electric shock. I'm sorry for those of you who didn't want to, uh, <laughs> didn't want to see that happen, but some people like to do the glitches, and I think the swimming in air one, it, it's something I just learned, Lit literally just been able to do it so quickly just then. Um, what we got to do, we got, whilst he's travelling, we, we come over here and we hit him, so we're going to wait for that. There's a lot of banging going on upstairs. No, whoa, hang on a minute. Whoa. That's cool. Right, come on, hit him. Flame him. Oh, shit. I remember the first time I come up against Crush. I was literally br bricking it. <laughs> Watch it. Incoming. Ah. <laughs> and again. And again. Woo! We'll have him. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa! So yeah, if you enjoy doing this kind of stuff, you know, I mean, it, I mean, I've never done this before, and I, I just done it. Oh, they just turned red. Oh shit! I hate this one. Phew. These ones are dangerous. They, they dangerous. Yeah, got him again. He starts legging it after you in a minute, which is pretty awesome, I think. Ah oh, dear. Right, come on, then, you blue bitch. Oh. Oh, I didn't think you'd be able to do it quite so quickly. Going left, going right, and we're gonna flame your ass. No, 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 no! Missed, miss, 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 miss. Oh shit! Don't you dare! Is this when he runs after you? No, he run after us in a moment. <laughs> now there's a mix between the two. Quick, get the sheep! The sheep! The sheep! <laughs> oh! Oh! Whoa! That was close, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought you said. He starts legging it after. <gasps> but don't, don't, don't kill the sheep! What's he ever done wrong? No, 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 no! Oof! That was a close one. Oh, I saved the sheep just in time. He almost suffered a grisly fate. Oh, so weird in a minute if we don't get out of the way of this bloody thing. Right, quick, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Woo! Yeah, come on, big boy. I th I'm trying to work out, is he like a lizard or a dragon or something? What exactly is he? You're going to love it in a moment. The perfect formation of this crap is funny. Whoa, almost dead. Right, you ready for it? No, no, no! Frick, missed my chance. Missed my chance! Oh, oh get him, get him. Yeah. Wait for it. There's going to be a perfect formation in the way of pyramids. I mean, the Mayans must have loved this guy. No, the, the Egyptians must have loved him. Though. Dink! <laughs> now, I don't know whether or not we're moving on to the next world already, but I'm going to go back and do all the Summer Forest things first because I like working through progressively. Don't want to hear that because we'll be hearing it in a bit later on in the uh, let's play I guess in Autumn Plains why are we at Autumn Plains Grr. didn't think this let's play through very much did I oh well <laughs> right in Autumn Plains I want to be in Autumn Plains Autumn Plains Autumn Plains ah oh, dear a couple of hours till cock yeah, for those of you Call of Duty fans, you'll know what I'm on about. 
Right, it's a completely new area. We're just going to go through the summer forest again. <clears throat> awesome. Right. So, this is all good. All gravy, baby. All gravy, baby. All gravy, baby. Where's my capture device? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stop at three videos. So we're gonna wait until about 45 minutes for this. So now we have the ability to swim, and that we're gonna go back to. Uh, no, we're gonna go to Colossus. We're gonna go to Colossus because I want to vary shit up a little bit. There's no swimming points in uh, Colossus as far as I know but it's somewhere different it's not going back to uh, Idle Springs again which is what would have happened if we done it logically so that's good if you ask me I was half tempted to um, do this sort of video, like the entire session, right sort of in one video. So you'd have effectively like up to four videos in, you know, four or five videos of 15 minutes each in one hit. But I then, I then thought, well, not everybody has an hour and something to kill just like that. Often you'll find videos which aren't as long get more views simply because you know if you're going into an hour long video you're just not going to be able to watch it for the most part and it's keep excuse me cool and it's keeping the attention of your viewer for an hour is very very difficult you have to constantly be talking constantly be doing this constantly be doing something else that will keep them entertained whereas if i upload uh, one video of spyro which is 10 15 minutes long at least then, if you sort of want to go off and watch something else and do something else, um, that's cool. I mean, often, right, I'll be watching something like like Painkiller already. For those of you who are in the Call of Duty community, I know some of you might not be. There's a podcast called Painkiller already. It's hosted by a couple of um, very largely known um, YouTubers, and they it, 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 these things normally last between an hour to two hours long, an hour and a half mostly at average. Um, but often I'll be I'll be listening to that and I'll switch off. I will literally pause the video and I'll go watch something else. And I I, I sort of tune back in later on, a uh, later time of day. And <laughs> sometimes I've always got this video open. I'm just not watching it, you know. So a longer video can often not lose the attention, but like they want to go off and do something else after a while. That's the point I'm trying to get at. So that's awesome. Something, or something, a funny point with Colossus. My mum used to come and play Colossus, and I don't know why. Um, for a long time, because obviously I was quite young when I first started playing this game, uh, I think that's why I got so good at it, because I, I was so young and at a young age, I just sort of accepted it and was able to play the game as well. So I don't know why. Anyway, so she'd come in after I spent like most of the day playing this. She'd come on in and... Uh, She'd have a go at it because I, there'd be something I'd be stuck on. I was like, Mom, I couldn't do this, I can't do that. And she's like, Well, you get a bed. She'd get me all settled down in bed and that. And she said, In the morning, when you come on next, or whenever you've finished from school or whatever you've done your homework, you'll be able to come on and you'll do it just like that. And when I'd come to bed, she'd come on here, stick the PlayStation on, and She'd try and do it. She'd try and uh, sort of do it, and she wouldn't be able to. It's so, like she'd be here for an hour, just trying to do the same thing that I did. And then in the morning, I'd wake up and I'd be like, right, okay, or whenever it is. Like, oh shit, missed the basket. Whenever it is, it was. I'd come on and I'd just simply do it, just like that. And I think what it is, especially with puzzle brains, puzzle stuff, if you're spending a long time sort of muddling over something. And if you get quite worked up about it, in your sleep, I think this is in fact scientifically proven, in your sleep, you still do that. You, you, your brain tries to figure out a, a solution and a way of getting around the, uh, the problem. And that is why, I, I found out that's why I always used to come back on and just do it just like that. Because it was, it was figured out throughout the night. And I think that is something which is incredibly banging again incredibly awesome <laughs> I don't know why I just do it's the same with anything I find a lot of things related to games amazing 
Go on, you yeti! <laughs> oh, come on, give us the talisman. I think Colossus is one of these things you can actually finish in a hundred percent, just like that, if you if you can stick at it. I don't think there's anything preventing it, apart from the ability to ice skate. <laughs> oh, I used to love this. I used to literally just mess around on this ice rink for a while. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, the, I remember right when the PS One. Now I, I, I'm only 16, but a lot has changed in the past. What 10 years for games? So much has changed. What with online compatibility and stuff, so much has changed because the PS, you know, PlayStation and gaming alone just used to be a family thing. Um, I remember like we'd have, um, oh, Space Invaders. It was. It was a PS One version of the Space Invaders. So it had a, a couple of basic graphics. It wasn't completely black and white and all that lot. And we'd play that, and my dad and I would just, you know, set the PlayStation up. We'd have a, he'd have a beer or whatever it was he'd have. I'd have a little, um, I wasn't allowed Coke, so I'd have a little Ribena or whatnot. And we'd sit here and we'd just play that, and my mum would be doing whatever she's doing. And then, every now and then, she'd come in and check on the men and see what they're doing. Yeah, bear in mind, I'm only like five, six years old, so I'm not very good at the game, but we're still having fun. And I remember... That game was so hard, we could, we could not do it, and my dad's not an incredible, like, experienced gamer, but he used to be able to get in here and play some Space Invaders, and I know he'd play with my mum as, you know, on, uh, no pun intended, as well, that was awesome, you know, I remember it would, it would be a whole night, a whole game, that, you know, days just go by, we'd just be sat in front of a, you know, the TV playing this game, and it'd be great, and then we'd have food and watch a bit of Emmerdale, shit, I've got to forget that I'm... I can't. Rec I can't forget. I should not forget that I am recording, and I, I can't just stop for a, a, a sip of coke every now and then. Got to wait until the breaks. No, oh, I don't even know what we're doing here. I think we've got to get five goals up against the red goal, and then in a moment's time, a chap with a weird face mask on comes in, and he'll be shooting towards the blue goal, I think, and we have to score five, I think, three or five. Oh, you bastard! Um, Come on, then. I should not have had that. Go! Cool, I don't normally get gas from it. Crikey! Oh, yeah, the reason I was never allowed coke is Jesus Christ! It always used to make me really very hyper. Well done! Have this orb. Get kissed on the nose by an orb. We have five orbs, guys. That is going on. All right. Woo! All right. I believe we are about to finish up here. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode where uh, <laughs> we go mental up against this chap. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in a bit.